Hello and welcome. My name is Anthony Ramos, and today we're going to be going over the Qualys integration in vulnerability response. The topics we're going to be going over for the intro of the Qualys integration, it's just the general overview, data management consideration, Qualys integration with ServiceNow, so just kind of talking about how it fits into ServiceNow, the data collection and processing, scheduled jobs and data synchronization, vulnerable item creation, QID records, and a little bit of a conclusion there. So what is Qualys? Right? Uh, Qualys is going to be our third-party scanner that integrates with ServiceNow. The great part about Qualys and ServiceNow or any other integration in ServiceNow, if there is a supported store app, is that it's tested and it's tried and true. So the, it allows seamless inter, uh, synchronization of vulnerable data and IT assets from a vulnerability management. But when you, as the admin, are thinking about Qualys, there are some important questions to ask your stakeholders as well as uh, your ServiceNow staff and this is this happens to be a, a big conversation that needs to happen between whoever owns and runs ServiceNow, whoever runs vulnerability response and whoever is in charge of your third-party scanner. So all of the key stakeholders need to be together when you start this integration because a lot of questions will need to be answered. Uh, obviously, what tools are currently being used, uh, what tools can be integrated with the vulnerability response part of ServiceNow, are there any API limitations, um, the schedule, I can't harp on schedule enough. When we see uh, jobs that don't complete when it happen, when it comes to integration, it's, I, first thing I check is, did the job finish, did it finish successfully? Uh, before the next iteration of that job ran. So scheduling, I can't harp on that enough. And then the estimate, how many vulnerabilities do we plan to bring in? Do we know that? Uh, is it in the millions? Is it in 100,000? Is it in the thousands? So understanding the customer and the size and what the CMDB looks like are huge considerations that you need to, to account for when you're getting ready to start this integration. So other parts, data management consideration. Is the data sensitive? Who's going to be looking at that data? Um, is, is that data need to be audited or are there any reporting around there for any of the data that's in there? And is ServiceNow your single source of record or is there another database out there that's going to host that data. So it is it is a consideration that needs to be talked about and noted so that when you go through a vulnerability comes in, let's just say from Qualys, that we know that that data is good because it ServiceNow is the trusted single source of record. So by definition, uh, the vulnerable item is a combination of third-party vulnerabilities such as Qualys and the configuration data from the CMDB. Uh, we work with many, many vendors. Uh, we're gonna be going over Qualys in this one, but there are other ones, Tenable, Rapid7, Veracode, Microsoft, things of that nature that, can, that we can ingest their data. Types of vulnerable items, VITs, AVITs, so application vulnerabilities, infrastructure vulnerabilities, container vulnerabilities, and <clears throat> Qualys is just one of the one of the ones that we use, but it is widely used as a vulnerability scanner uh, for many many organizations. So we have a lot of data to support that. So <clears throat> continuing with Qualys integrations. Real-time updates, uh, so that we have a two-way communication with Qualys, which really helps out um, because of the amount of data for larger organizations. And we're able to take that and then prioritize it for what makes sense in your environment. Right? So Qualys might come back and say, okay, here's what 
the world sees and what the world thinks, but we want to tailor it to our environment. We can do that and then make sure those vulnerabilities receive the proper uh, classification or um, uh, priority that they, that they need. So processing, data collection and processing. So obviously Qualys is gonna go out, it's gonna scan the environment, and then it's going to prepare that and, and we're gonna pull it into the ServiceNow environment. And then as that gets ingested, we have our rules and consolidations and calculators that we're gonna to use to then in turn prioritize that data for remediation. Schedule jobs. So this is, this is uh, what I was referring to before is Qualys is gonna run and then ServiceNow is going to pull that in. So we're always gonna be obviously a little bit behind when it comes to synchronization between ServiceNow and Qualys just because of ingestion and processing time. And we wanna make sure that for higher level priorities or zero day type activities that we understand that there is gonna be some level of gap and we want to always go back and check those scheduled jobs to see if they finished uh, to ensure that, okay, if, I, if Qualys is on, let's just say version one of the scan and ServiceNow is on version 0.9, we understand and we're able to speak to that effectively. So when, how do we know what, what Qualys brought in? So Qualys has a QID, a Qualys ID that uh, identifies the records that are brought in from Qualys. And that's how you're going to know as an admin, hey, okay, uh, this came in from Qualys, this came in from this scanner, this came in from that scanner. So it is important when you're looking at those data that you see the QID and then the number. I'm going to show you a short demo of some of the things that I was talking about so you have a better understanding. Okay, for this demo, we're going to be going over some of the base configuration or where to look for that base configuration when it comes to Qualys. So I just have a, a student uh, instance here, but what I'd like to do and what I recommend to all of my customers is that the first thing they do is just go into the setup assistant and it's really easy to find. Um, just go administration, setup assistant, and you will find it. It's gonna bring up this fancy screen here that most people don't look at. And as an admin, especially if you're coming into a, an environment that somebody else set up, this is gonna be a good starting point to look at if this was even uh, paid any attention to. But if you scroll down a little bit, you see scanner configurations, and this is where the administrator can come in and kind of uh, give you an idea of what's already there. All right, I have Tenable and I have Qualys in here and the job status that's, that are in there. So let's go ahead and just edit this, All right? So just gonna put your, your credentials in there, um, the your Qualys ID and URL. Whether you wanna import that knowledge base and host the technical configuration. So this is gonna be, okay, let's start to look. What are severities that we're bringing in, the dates, all of this information you can come back and, and look at to see if, just at a glance, if it was done before or whether you're doing a fresh install, these are things that you're gonna to need to look at. Um, the CI lookup rules that are associated to this, as well as my favorite, the schedules. All right, so it's really important that you're looking at that as the admin. The other place you wanna look at when it comes to Qualys is the Qualys integration. And if you just type in Qualys, it's gonna give you its integration run status. All right, so this fancy little dashboard here, obviously I haven't, I haven't started any runs, but it's just gonna give you a quick snapshot of what's going on with Qualys in the run status. And this is going to be able to give you 
kind of that secondary place. Okay, let's figure out is, is Qualys healthy? If not, let me look at some of this data and go through and say, all right, does this match up with my scanner? Does this match up with scheduling? Is this what we want to bring in? Is it too much data? Is it not enough data? Uh, the run status is going to get you some of that. And like I said, it's a really good starting point for an admin to come in and say, hey, Qualys team, this is what I see. Um, ServiceNow team, this is what I see. The, my schedules are off, depending upon what level of admin you are. So in conclusion, there are a ton of benefits with integrations. And with Qualys, since it's kind of our bread and butter integration, the continuous visibility across all of your IT assets is invaluable. And it allows you to really focus, pinpoint that prioritization and resolution, as well as that back and forth data flow. So. We want to make sure that you really put some time, effort, energy into going through these integrations and making sure that you're not only testing them, but you're also reviewing them so that you can make sure that timelines are when jobs start to the next one finishing are all in sync. For more information, please visit our docs page. Thank you.